hello guys welcome to my channel so today's topic is going to be how do we integrate JSP with Spring Boot version 3 so I have been asked with this question that previously the same project with Spring Boot 2 and JSP is working fine as expected but when we upgrade the version from Spring 2 to Sp uh, Spring Boot 3 then it is being problematic like JSP is not working fine so how do we solve this so in this video we are going to work on that so in this what we are going to do is first we will see the project which is built on Spring Boot 2 and JSP and then we will try to upgrade that to Spring Boot 3 and see what problem are we getting and how do we solve it so before we work on that if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do now let's first see the Spring Boot 2 version project so as you can see on my screen this project is built on Spring Boot version 2.5.1 don't worry about this if you want to know about this project I will provide the repository link for this project on the video description so take a look there so I won't go much on the code detail I'll simply run this project to showcase what it is actually doing and then we will try to see what problem are we getting by upgrading it to Spring Boot 3. So as we can see here the application is started on port 8091 and just to give you a brief demo this is a CRUD application as said in the title. So here we are using model controller repo and service. So let's see how it looks like so localhost 8091 so here I can see all the animes uh, that I have stored on my database so I can delete them I can edit them and I can add a new as well so let's add test and 2000 so you can see that here we have the anime so it is working fine as expected now let's try to upgrade this so currently the spring boot version as of now is 3.0.4 so I'll simply upgrade it to that version and I'll stop the application because um, maven can get problematic if you don't do that so let's see in the dependencies if we got 3.0.4 and I can see that now what do we do we will simply run this application but wait I can see some compilation problems so if I go down I can see a lot of them and just to give you a demo I can see them on my bean so the model or bean uh, or your entity so here I can see the problem so what does it say it says that the column cannot be resolved so currently we used like previously we used to do java x dot persistence now we cannot do that now we have to do jakarta dot persistence so once you do that your compilation problems will go away now you have to do maven update project because again maven has some issues so update project force update okay now we fixed that now let's run the application one more time now again I can see that my application is running fine without any error or exception with Spring Boot 3 now when I go back to my browser and let's hit refresh so I see that I have Java X tag library validator exception so this exception is going to get resolved via two ways one is simply going to update your pom.xml with the dependencies or you can external externally provide the dependency via your external jar so just to showcase what I have here so other than jQuery bootstrap your dev tools spring boot starter web you have JPA your driver for your database connection and then you have these two specifically for your JSP right these 
are the dependencies which we used to have along with our Spring Boot 2 so that we can successfully run our JSP files. Now we need these, right? What do we need extra just to make this application working again? So here we need two additional dependencies. So what I will do is I will again stop my application and go to build path, configure build path and then class path. Here I will use two dependencies Jakarta servlet JSP JSTL and Jakarta servlet JSP JSTL API. So if you add these jar along with your project things are going to work fine. So let's run this application again. So once more we don't see any issues or exception on our logs. Let's see what do we have here. So when I click on refresh, I can see that my page is working fine as expected. So if I click on delete, I can see that the anime deleted successfully. So it's working perfectly fine and this is what we have to do to make our project working in Spring Boot 3. So what did we change? First we upgraded from Java X dot persistence to Jakarta dot persistence. Then we added two additional dependencies Jakarta servlet JSTL and Jakarta servlet JSTL API. Alright, so this is what we have to add just to make our project working again. So this is all about what do we do to upgrade our project successfully from Spring Boot 2 to Spring Boot 3. If you have any questions, please leave that down on the comment section. I will try to reply or solve as soon as possible. So this is it for this video. I hope that we will meet in some another video. Till then, have a good day, stay safe and bye bye.